suit and tie? A little formal for the beach, don't you think? I just love to step out of the office and, and step away, take a deep breath and enjoy what's around us. Jeremy Kim of Victoria is a financial advisor, but every now and then he loves to escape from work, take a break from watching the stock market to watch something else birds. Years ago I got as a gift a little little plastic bird house, a little bird feeder uh, with a, a guide to backyard birds and I was hooked from that moment on. More and more of us are flocking to birds. It helps when you live just a few minutes dry from places like Esquimalt Lagoon. I've said to a lot of people that if I could only bird one place in Victoria it would be around this lagoon. Royal Roads property and Esquimalt Lagoon, awesome place. We were only here about 15 minutes. You should have seen the diverse collection of birds that pop up here. And lots of birds come into this area, particularly in the winter and the spring. Anne and Jeremy love birding so much, they're members of the Rocky Point Bird Observatory in Machosan, where they band and track migratory birds just to keep an eye on them. The number of birds that are in decline right now is phenomenal, and on a scary day, I think sometimes that 50 years from now, we may not have very many birds at all. So people are taking advantage of seeing what they can now because it may not be here down the road. The Rocky Point Bird Observatory is a volunteer-run organization, but there are bills to pay. So we don't have to kiss our feathered friends goodbye. A charitable foundation is offering to help. It's the Victoria Foundation's 75-hour challenge. Any money you donate to 15 different selected charities will be matched by the Victoria Foundation. You know, cover everything from the arts to the environment to social services, education. So this is an opportunity for the community to see what they can do in 75 hours. And so far it's looking pretty promising for these organizations. You can spend an hour out here uh, just looking and time stands still. But time won't stand still for the 75-hour challenge. Donations will only be matched until Friday at noon. From Esquimalt Lagoon, I'm Dan Kahn for The Daily.